Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and for today's vlog is a Q&A session where I'll be answering your questions about going home for a vacation on your PGWP in Canada and the ongoing process of obtaining your PR or your permanent residency. So recently, I traveled back to Philippines last November 23, 2023 up to November or December 13, 2023. So I'll share more about it. So let's dive in. So question number one, can I travel back to Philippines on a vacation, for a vacation while on my PGWP in Canada? Absolutely, yeah. Many international graduates take an advantage of their PGWP by exploring Canada and also visiting their home country. Just ensure that your travel documents are up to date and check for any COVID-19 related travel restrictions. Next question, what are the documents or needed documents while I'm away or while I'm traveling back to my home country. Certainly, here are the general requirements for a vacation going back to your home country, especially Philippines, while on your PGWP. Please take note that immigration policies can change, so it's crucial to check with the relevant authorities for the most up-to-date information. So first one is your valid passport. Ensure your passport is valid for at least six months beyond of your intended travel date or free turn. Next one is your ETA. So ETA or your Electronic Travel Authorization from the Government of Canada's official website. To apply for it, it's only it's only seven dollars or seven Canadian dollars. So um I believe it's online, yeah? And it is an electronic travel authorization. It's also an entry requirement for visa exempt foreign nationals traveling to Canada by air only. So an ETA is electronically linked to a traveler's passport. It is only valid for up to five years or until the passport expires. So an electronic travel authority is an electronically stored um, authority equivalent to visa which is linked to a passport number. So to apply, you must have a valid passport, a credit card, a debit card, and an email address. And you must also answer a few questions in the online application. So I think um, if you are, if the IRCC already approved your PGWP, they already include the ETA. So for me, I need to apply for, for it because um, IRCC didn't give me that kind of document. It's only um, $7. So... Next one is your visa or your waiver, a visa waiver. So for me, because I'm traveling back to Philippines and I have connecting flights, I need to secure a visa or a Japan visa because I have 15 hours layover and I need to travel or I need to transport from Haneda Airport going to Narita Airport. So I need a visa. So I need this if for me to be accepted or the Japan immigration will allow me to travel within that 15 hours layover. So next one is your return ticket. So please prepare your return ticket to Canada because some authorities may ask for your proof of intention to leave the Philippines. So next one is your proof of employment. Carry a letter from your employer in Canada stating your employment status duration of leave, and expectation of your return to work. Next one is your PGWP or your postgraduate work permit. Bring this copy. I think IRCC already released or sent out through mails your physical copy of PGWP after they approved your PGWP. So um, I think it is. this may serve as your additional proof of your ties to Canada. Next one is your travel insurance. Consider obtaining travel insurance that covers health, travel disruptions, and other unexpected events. Next one is COVID-19 requirements. So check for any specific COVID-19 related requirements such as pass, such as testing, quarantine, or vaccinations, as these can change based on the situation. Okay. Next one is your ETA. If you're going back to Philippines, it is an ETA. The ETA is Electronic Travel Declaration and you need to apply for it or you need to um, supply all the needed information through online. It, it is um, an entry pass when you travel to Philippines. 
every time you need to, en to enter and depart, you need to log into etravel.gov.ph. Next one is your customs declaration. So be aware that customs regulation in both Canada and Philippines to avoid any issues when entering or leaving each country. So always check with the nearest Philippine embassy or consulate or the Canadian immigration authorities for most accurate and updated information tailored to your situations, okay? So if you have ETA, as long as you apply for it, you, not, you need not to have the counterfoil in your passport in order for you to go back here in Canada because ETA serve already as your visa. Next question. So, I'm waiting for my PJWP. Can I travel outside of Canada and come back in my student visa? So yes, you can leave Canada and return as long as your visa or electronic travel authorization is still valid. Your work permit is not a visa and doesn't allow you to travel back to Canada. If your visa or your ETA is expired, you have to get a new one before you return to Canada. When you return to Canada, you may enter as a student if your student permit is still valid. And if we or if the IRCC approve your PGWP while you're away, you may enter also as worker. So if you're still processing your PGWP or your postgraduate work permit, you may enter as visitor and you can work without the permit until they will have the decision on your application. All right. So I think we need to proceed for the next question. Okay. All right. How does travel affect my ongoing? Right. How does traveling affect my ongoing permanent residency or PR applications? Yeah, that's a great question, actually. So traveling during your PGWP won't impact your PR application as long as you meet the residency requirements. It's essential to keep track on your day spent in Canada and consult with an immigration professional to ensure you're meeting the criteria. Next one is, um, can I apply for PR while outside the Canada? Yes, absolutely. You can apply for PR while outside Canada. However, you must demonstrate your intention to live in Canada once your PR is approved. So make sure to follow the application guidelines to provide IRCC or Immigration Refugees in Citizenship Canada. Next question, how long does the PR process may take? So the processing time for PR? So the processing time for PR applications can vary but generally it takes several months. Factors like type of PR program, completeness of your application, and the volume of your application being processed will influence the timeline. Next one, can I apply for PR applications in the process? Can I work while my PR application in the process? Yes, you can continue working your PGW while your PR application is processed. So ensure your work permit is still valid in mixed condition of the IRCC. Okay. Alright, so I think that's wrap up. Alright, so I think that's wrap up for today's Q&A vlog. If you have any more questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section and I'll do my best to address them in the next video. So don't forget to subscribe for more helpful insights and navigating your journey in Canada. Safe travels and best of luck with your permanent residency journey.